Hey guys, it's Monica. I sure hope that you had a wonderful holiday, Christmas, New Year's. Can you believe that 2022 is over? I mean, like where did the year go, right? I mean, it's like poof and it's gone. So I'm going to revisit a tag that I did last year and it was actually Susan Little Poet's tag and it was the New Year's tag that she did. I don't know if she's done it this year at the time of this filming. I have not seen that she has, but it's the New Year's tag and it's sort of like a... Um, you know, community confessions, like how was the year for you? And there's a series of questions. I think she has like 10 questions. I'm going to copy them below. If any of you want to do the tag, go right ahead. I'm sure Susan will not mind. I will also link Susan's video from last year. Anyways, um, the New Year's tag. So rate, tw and I have to read this, rate 2022 on a scale of 1 to 10 with a 10 being the highest. So how was 2022? And I, I I have to say, it has to be for me probably a solid seven, mainly because the year was a mixed bag. I had gone through the loss of my brother the year before, went through a whole bunch of different things with, with him and his property and getting everything settled and stuff like that. And then I got hit with health issues. So I had inner ear surgery, I had Mohs surgery, and my mom had some health issues, so we were working through that. But um, even though we had those issues go on. I still think overall the, the whole in the year in total was better, mainly because life seemed to get somewhat for us anyways up here, a little bit back to normal. You know, we were able to go out, we were able to travel. Those that wanted to wear masks wore masks and those that didn't didn't have to. It just seemed like life kind of got back to a somewhat normal cadence and while COVID is still there and we still have to take precautions and be careful and and all of that it, it seemed like we were able to do things that we enjoyed again traveling camping all those wonderful different things that Jay and I really like to do so for me it was a solid seven and um yeah without a doubt a solid seven number two what is your favorite memory of 2022 Oh my gosh. So I had, I stopped and I thought about that because I really had I really had a lot of good memories mixed into the year of 2022. I think the one that kind of stands out the most for me right now because Jay and I when we go away we go camping. We take our RV. So when we go somewhere where we might be staying in a hotel or an inn, it's very different for us. And we ended up going to Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and we stayed in Falmouth. We actually stayed in a little inn called the Falmouth Inn. And we rode our bikes. So we brought our bikes down. We did the Cape Cod Rail Trail. We did the Shining Sea Trail, uh, which I, that was my favorite, the Shining Sea. Beautiful, beautiful, well-maintained trail system off the road. There's some road cross crossings, but they're very well marked. It just really, really a nice, nice road, a nice ride, and I love the views. I loved riding, you know, the ocean, being along the ocean in Cape Cod off season when there was not a whole lot of traffic is not something we get to see often when we get on to Cape Cod. So that was definitely, I think, a really cool experience that we, the room we had, we had a hot tub in our room. And it was nice after being sore from riding your bike all day, because I can't remember how many miles we put on, but we did a lot of mileage that weekend to soak in a hot tub. And for me especially, going away in a hotel, it was nice to be pampered, right? Instead of when we go camping, you know, yes, we go to dinner, yes, we do outside stuff and we have a blast and I love every moment of it. But when we go camping, I still have to plan the food. We have to plan a little bit. Here it was like, no. Nope. We went out for breakfast, we went out for dinner. It was it was nice to be pampered and not have to do a whole lot of planning. So, number three, um, 
Did you change as a person in 2022? And if so, how? So I, this is really going to sound weird, but I, I really feel that I am at the self actualization phase of my life. And if you know anything about Mar Marslow's hierarchy, how he talks about the phases of life and the steps of life and all that, I feel that um, self actualization I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, of course. It's sort of like that psychological development, that place you are at in your life where you've gone through all the different phases and then you've achieved a lot of your goals or you've accepted the level of the achievement that you had, whether you, you achieved it fully or whatever. But you're at the point where like, okay, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, I'm perfectly fine. You know, I have shelter, I have food, I have companionship, I have friends, I have family, I can I can travel a little bit, I still work, uh, I hope to work a little bit less. But I'm at that stage where I've been there, done that, and the rest of what I want to achieve in my life is just purely simple things like happiness. I want to maintain my health, obviously, and my family's health, but happiness being with people that I love and and I guess just enjoying the more simpler things in my life because I've been through all the other phases. So yeah, I've changed that way because I have that realization of that's where I'm at. So we not to say we don't have goals. We do. We have certain goals. We want to go to Germany. We have certain other goals in our lives. But if they happen, they happen. And I'm not going to be beating myself up over if they don't have it happen. So yeah, I know it sounds weird. Number four, favorite video you did in 2022. Hmm. So here I go, right? Um, I really don't have one. I, I look back on my video production in 2022 and, you know, between my inner ear surgery, which kicked me for a while, and then my most surgery, I, I think my video production, production, if you want to call it that, in 2022 fell way short of where I thought it was going to be and what I was going to do, including the growth of my channel. I think my channel is kind of withering. It's kind of like stagnant. It's not really growing much. But um, yeah, so that said, I do and create my video content because I, en I enjoy it. I enjoy the, the filming. I enjoy the editing. I enjoy especially vlogs. That's what I really enjoy about my um, about my video videos. So I don't have one favorite. Maybe next year I will. Maybe this year I will. Anyways, number five. I'm yeah. Number five. Name one or two products that totally blew you away. I didn't have to think really hard about this. I, I, this product came right to my mind, and I, and I know that there have been some other content creators that have tried this product and loved it. And then there was some that haven't. So it's very much an individual, how your skin reacts, uh, what you do. But this is a, a concealer and it's from Fiera. And this was originally sent to me via the Octoly Network way back. And I have purchased this. I really love this concealer. I have the three different shades that I use. I kind of mix them up. I, um, I love the fact I open it up, I put it, I, I warm it in my hands and it is, it, it melts into my skin and covers at the same time. It's kind of like really weird how it does it. Melts into your skin and covers. It doesn't give you that cakey, icky look that most concealers give me. So I really, that, that has to be the product that blew me away this year, without a doubt. What creator on YouTube, number six, inspired you the most in 2022? Well, there's two women that I have watched. Um, one is, is so huge that she, you know, certainly doesn't even know I exist, and that's okay. And the other is, um, she has a large channel, but she knows I exist, and every now and then she'll come watch my videos and leave a comment and all that. But these two people, one is Tati, and I know she's very controversial by many of you, but what uh, what she has inspired in me is here's a woman that was at the top, that fell way, lo way low, that was attacked, that was whatever, you know, I mean, she lost her business, she almost lost her husband, she lost a lot, but 
she's she she started doing her vlogging videos and that is what I'm getting at. Tati's vlogging videos, not the makeup, not, you know, the cosmetics and all that stuff and her and James doing their unboxing. None of that really is what does it for me, but I love her vlogging videos. I just think they're so, and, and, I, and I love that she embraced that part of it. So she found her niche in a different realm of YouTube because she's got a, a following that just loves her vlogs. And that I think is really cool. The other person that's inspired me is a woman called Nanny, Nanny and Moose. And it's this woman and her husband and they're retired. And um, she shares her life, her life stories. She, she, is, she is just an unbelievably real person. And so I think Nanny is so funny. I, I find her videos entertaining. I love how she is just natural in the camera. She's not staged, you know, she's not, she's just natural and, uh, and her husband moves. So I, I, I do, th I watch a lot of her videos. I may not comment all the time on her videos, but um, her videos inspire me. I, I just think it's wonderful to see someone retired, you know, older folks enjoying life, being vibrant, doing what they can. I just think that's, that's really awesome. Now, that said, there's a number of mature women that I am inspired daily by, and I'm not going to go into naming them because I always will probably leave someone off, but there's a core of, of women that I watch on a regular basis that watch me and we support each other. That's what I really love about YouTube, I think, is the community aspect of it. So, number seven... What is the funniest, meanest, strangest comment you got? I haven't really gotten a ton of mean ones this past year, but the funniest ones are the marriage proposals. I get a lot of marriage proposals. I get these wacko men. I love you. I love you. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Oh my, really? Oh, I want to come be with you. Be married. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. Those crack me up. I know they're just spammers. <laughs> but they just crack me up. Eight. What was your proudest achievement in 2022? My proudest achievement. Hmm. It has to be for me overcoming the health issues I've had. My inner ear surgery, I mentioned that happened in the beginning of the week. That kind of kicked me in the butt for six weeks. I couldn't drive. I had to be very careful bending, walking, what I, whatever I was doing. And I, I healed really well with it. I continued on working. I taught from home. I held classes from home. Most people, you know, if they attended my classes, they would never have known that I was laid up due to surgery. They wouldn't have guessed. So I, when I have to, I just, I just, you know, I just, I, as I call it, I just pull up my big boy panties and I perform in that sense. I'm going to teach a class. I'm going to make it as entertaining as I can, no matter what's going on in my personal life. So overcoming those health issues, and, and then I got hit with the Mohs surgery, right? And the Mohs surgery kicked my butt as well. And um, that knocked me, that was harder for me than my ear surgery because I don't think I was prepared for the level of recovery I would need with the Mohs surgery. But I stayed strong and I stayed, I was determined. I still, even though I had to be out of the sun and I had to do things very differently that summer, I was determined to still go on my bike. I was determined to still go camping, to go to the beach, to do the things that that I love to do while I recovered from my Mohs surgery. So, yeah, 2022 was health issue year for me, for sure. And number nine, what is the one word you would use to describe yourself in 2022? Darn it, let's see. Um... I think number nine is the last one. Uh, the, I would say stubborn. I was stubborn in 2022. I got to that point where health kicked me and looked me right in the face. I had to deal with my mother who had health issues. So there was all of these little factors out there that all of a sudden slammed me. And I just said, you're not getting me. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. As hard as it is, I remained stubborn and steadfast. <laughs> and I stayed the course for my recovery, doing what I had to do for my self-preservation. So um, 
so stubborn, so stubbornness. Yeah, that would be my word. So I think I got them all unless I messed up, which I tend to do. But thank you so much for watching this tag. And again, I hope you had a wonderful new year. And thank you always for supporting my channel. And I'm hoping that in 2023, I actually have a little bit more of a growth, get back on a regular schedule. I know I've been saying that for a while. I've been trying and, uh, and just to do whatever I can do to stay the course. So by the time you see this, I think I may not be able to comment right away because I won't be in a place where I can comment right away, but I will read your comments and get back to any comments you leave me. But um, yeah. Anyways, thank you all so much, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and much love to you all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.